how do you make use of the info window or info panel in InDesign? Now, the info panel is one that you'll be forgiven for get for, be forgiven for forgetting. Yeah, that's kind of a mouthful that one is. Here it is. I've got it just here, the info panel. So I can see a lot of different types of information. In fact, I've got the document information up here. I can see the location where I've last modified the author, the file size, which is quite a handy thing to have within the document here. Uh, I can click on an object. So here we've got a uh, rectangle with an RGB color space. I can see I've got an RGB color space just here. There we go. And if I then change it to, uh, let's go to my swatches. Let's change it to a CMYK. I can now see there you go, it's a CMYK color space. So we can see all of that information here. Of course, the info uh, panel gives you widths and heights and dimensions and you know that type of thing as well. I can change as well the unit of measurement using this button up here. I know you can do it with the rulers. Let's just change that to millimeters. So yeah, this button just here, I can change the unit of measurement, something that's quite handy. Uh, I can also, um, it's not gonna work when I record it for some really weird reason, but with the pen tool, it will actually do measurements as well. So just try it with a pen tool and what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to see in this box just here the widths and the heights oops, yeah, so just in here the width and the white heights will appear for some reason when I'm recording it's not appearing and I can't be bothered to just find that one out um, but when I do um, then I will get back to you but you'll, you'll see it there so you'll be able to measure things out a bit so the info box is panel as well is very handy when it comes to things like text. I've got some text which I feel placeholder text here. So if I just click in the text box and Control A to select it all, you can see here I have. Oops, I can see here I have 300 characters, 49 words, eight lines. Oops, eight lines and two paragraphs there as well. So it gives me a lot more information. And one of the most handiest things I find for the info panel is if you go down and I've got one of these funny characters. He's a quarter. If I highlight that, and if you look very closely here, you can see the Unicode character format, basically the number, the Unicode uh, for the quarter, uh, and any other character really, you just sort of highlight it and you can see the character just here. Uh, it's one of the most handiest things that you can do with the with the info panel there. So there we go, uh, the info panel, just have a quick muck around with this here, make sure that you're showing all of the options as well, so you're not missing out. Uh, on uh, the various ones there. I think that's about it. Uh, you can see very, I mean, for instance, when you do use things, oh, one little thing about this is if you're using the shear tool to maybe shear the shape, you can see in the info panel that it will give you the shear amount uh, as well, which is something that, uh, just having a quick look at the top. Oh, I get the shear amount at the top. I get the shear amount that's live there. That's great. Yeah, so it gives you the shear amount. Uh, so it's good. So don't don't forget it. It's there. It's particularly handy with the text and that type of thing. But if you get a chance in InDesign, dig out the info panel and just see what it can do for you. So there we go. Please subscribe if you've uh, got anything out of this and please give it a thumbs up as well. And uh, just keep an eye out for more InDesign and other videos that are coming. Thank you so much for watching. The info panel, making good use of it. I forgot one vital thing, and that's showing the effective PPI of images. Now, I normally use the links panel for this, but you can use the info panel. So here I am on my InDesign document. I'm just going to scroll up, and here's a big, huge picture there I've taken when I was on a training course in London. So I, I click on the picture here, and you can see I've got the effective PPI. I can also see the color space of the image. Oh, you can't see that. Let's do the so you can see that. So you can, there we go. I can see the ICC profile, the color space, and the effective PPI. Um, this needs vast improvement. It would be great if I could type in a number just in here. That would be great, the effective PPI, and then it would just change it maybe. But I don't know. We live in hope, don't we? So there we go. Inf info panel. Uh, hope, you get, <laughs> um, hope you can get what you want out of it. Thank you so much for watching.